Oh, that's right. I have to... Do I expose Kyoko's lie or not? That's really a danger. It's a danger, risk, mystery. Am I wrong? She's not wrong. I have to think about this very carefully. What do I do? Well, if he does the That's other sad. thing, he gets the I bang. The light. He gets the bang. Hina. True. How is that the bad ending? Exactly. I think somebody's lying here. And according to the age of those kids, Bukake banged her first. True. That was a large child. That was a large child. So <laughs> Bukake was like, fellas. I'm gonna pound that real quick. <laughs> huh, huh. Okay, I'm done. Mm, yes. You are now pregnant. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? She starts yeah. talking. <laughs> what? Alright. Run away. No! I have to decide right now. Alright, pursue the lie. Pursue the lie! Let it go. I've made my decision. <gasps> I have to believe in Kyoko. There's no way she would kill someone. There has to be some secret here. Something that has to do with the Mastermind's trap that Kyoko mentioned. Well, does no one have a rebuttal? Have you decided to accept her assertion as fact? Uh. I see. So you still refuse to accept it. I suppose we have to admit that Kyoko didn't put the locker key in her room, that it was someone else. But who else could it have been? Me! Bukake. <laughs> oh, fuck. I mean, the Akia had a room. <laughs> I don't know. Please, look, shush. You! What are you trying to imply? But of course, I have an alibi. From nighttime on, I was with you guys the entire <laughs> Yeah, he was. Time. they were dissembling the robe off for like hours. I just love him his alibi was, I didn't kill her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's in me? Enough. Damn. <laughs> He's got, air He's got a alibi. point, guys. It wasn't him. Someone had to put the key in there. There's only one other possibility I can think of. Someone could have had the key on them, then once they arrived at the scene, pretended to find it there. Oh! <laughs> To be Makoto, right? I don't see any other option. Oh no. Wait a second. <laughs> got it Covering wrong. for egg yolk has put the suspicion back on me. <laughs> Let's talk about it one more time. There's gotta be a hidden side to this case. Yeah. Huh? That's why it was suspicious if you remember the other end in where he was like, wait, so she was the blackened? Cause none of us got executed, you know, after we fought for her. And we just lived like egg yolk in that scenario. Like, that's when Makoto. Egg yolk got executed. Yeah, I know, but we didn't die, right? Because so that must have mean yeah. she did kill your one. Yeah, yeah. But Makoto was still, still like, that's too weird, though. Hmm. Yeah, is Monokuma just fucking with us? And that's why he, there, he's like saying there must be more to the story. Hmm. Interesting. First of all, there's something off about this entire trial. You all see it, don't you? Don't you remember, yeah. Who we didn't even know existed, suddenly shows up dead. Yeah. And then we're thrown into a trial. Yeah. And Kyoko even said, it's a trap the mastermind set for us. So that's why this has to be... Okay, time's <gasps> up! Huh? Time's up. Class trial's all over. Everyone can stop talking now. Now they have a... What? what? Time's up? Out, out, with this scenario? Mm. Who do you think? Like, uh, who, what's going uh, The time's up. So, like, yes. who do you think they're all gonna vote for? Oh, no, 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 wait a second, fellas. Listen, I know Hufumi was weird, but we can't vote for him. He's dead. Huh. We aren't talking about Hufumi. What do you mean oh, God. There's no time's up. Since when have we... It's because you were late, so we had to push back the start time. So then, it's time for voting time, okay? Uh -oh. Everyone, please vote using the lever in front of you. I vote for Monokuma. 
Monokuma. Oh. And look, this is the actual end. We didn't get this last time. That's true. Yeah. So let's see how much points you get for this. 938. 75. Ooh. Seems kind of random. Yeah. But like an A plus might be more. I don't know. And the difficulty as well. Who will be chosen as the Blacken? Will you make the right choice? My heart is beating. Dreadfully wrong one? Because I'm, I, I'm alive. Hey, hold on! What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? <gasps> Alright, thanks for watching, fellas. It's been fun. Wait, what? Did you what skip the, the Did you skip it? Wait, what? What did happened? You... Then he's confused. What? What? We didn't see the results. Wait, did, did you actually Wait, did you actually skip it? By I didn't accident? do shit! Because it, it does spin and they all vote for Makoto. Uh-oh. I wonder what happened there. No, 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 it's okay. Oh my god. I need to see the spin. I need to see this. Oh my god. You loaded back into the fucking main menu. I thought that really confused me. Danger, risk, mystery. It looked like that skipped, though, because that's why, I, like, my heart dropped. I was like, wait, did you just skip it? I didn't, well, I didn't press a button. The bug on Xbox? But let's see if you get a different amount of money here. That'd, no, that'd be so fucked if it, if you did the whatnot. Now. Yeah, here we now go. She's all good. Yeah, must have been just a weird glitch. Yeah, the awful go. Oh. GG. Oh. Alright, thanks for watching, fellas. Makoto died. This is pretty sad. This is where the game takes the turn. <clears throat> what? You think I'm the killer? <sighs> Sorry, man. Sorry. They actually vote for you. <laughs> it's all your fault. <sighs> He's annoyed because he knows something's fucked. I love it. He's like, what? Everyone. You're wrong. Because he knows that you know that she knows that she has a key. So that's why he's really pissed. You, you know that she. Wait, what? Bukake you know that knows, knows that you know that Egyo has a secret key that can open any door. And uh, he's we're really not saying nothing. He's just really pissed. He's so confused. Like why he didn't say it. You motherfucker! If you just said that, I'd get to bang Hina. No. Oh, yes. I'm the origami killer. <laughs> oh god. Where's... Oh, there we go. I'm putting my phone over there. You're all wrong. I didn't do it. Yes, Good is. job, everyone. G Good job? Yep. Yep. They got it right. No. I know that's not true. This makes any sense. The whole trial doesn't make any sense. Makes perfect sense. Sing. It's the same as always. It's just like the other, all the other class trials. I'm gonna end it the same way. I don't want to be butter. Oh no! Chills, chills, kills. It's time for your half pound and positively trilling punishment. Wait, why do I? Hmm. Oh, Kyoko. I don't expect you to forgive me. I know this is all my fault. She just admitted she's the origami killer. Get her! <laughs> she's, like, oh, you. she's like, you have to die for Kyoko? the pursuit of who the mastermind is. Let's give it everything we've got! Let, uh, oh my god. Time. Well, thanks for watching, fellas. It's oh my fun. god, I swear I'm gonna fucking troll you through a window. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, that's me. Game I sure over. hope no one grabs me for my hair. Oh! oh my god, Makoto has been found guilty. Time for punishment. Punish me, daddy. That's a lot of cum. Oh, it's the same thing. Yep. Bum, bum, bum.
bum, 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 bum. Now the lads have a bunch of another girl to impregnate, you know? Hey, hey. See, it all worked I, out. I still don't understand. Like, when I was reading the guide, you know, for the bad end, mm -hmm. people are like, yeah, I guess Tok is dead or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> you know like that. They, just have <laughs> yeah. that. they just have that in, oh, like, okay. parentheses. Yeah. After school lesson, ASL. Uh oh. Oh no. This is what we call. Fuck. <laughs> this is what we call. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Creep. It was nice knowing you, Makoto. Uh oh. Mm? Oh, Shakira? Nani? Alter Ego? <gasps> oh my god. Wow. Uh -oh. Shakira, oh, Shakira is the gift that keeps on giving. I need him. What? 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 What's this? What's going on? Um... Hey, was that? Uh, uh, yeah, it had to be. <laughs> this is alter ego. Oh, that's me as well. Dutch Alter Ego. <clears throat> it's just some super virus from that stupid guy. He must have planted it when he invaded my network. Damn it all to hell. I don't believe this. It seems... seems you finally made a miscalculation. Hmm. Now you miscalculated from the very beginning. Or no, you miscalculated. What the heck? What the fuck? Did you say? In other words. What I'm saying is, you shouldn't have underestimated us. <laughs> Why are you talking like you've already won? I barely felt a ting. It was a pinch, an itch. That stupid virus is gone now, got it? And so is Makotomo. Maybe I didn't get to smash him flat, but you're never gonna see him again. To waste away in a garbage strong pit in a way that's better than special punishment. <laughs> <laughs> but still not enough. I'm still not satisfied. I'm still gonna bring despair to the rest of you. Bring despair to the entire world. <laughs> Boo poo. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> Me bear. Me. Is he gone? Hey, egg yolk. What's the meaning of this? Just what the hell is going on? Calm down. Fire to blast. It's okay. We're not the ones being trapped this time. Now it's the mastermind that's been ensnared. What, what, did you say? what are you talking about? So... You'll understand soon enough. Can you, can, you, can you just say it, <laughs> please? Never you mind. Stir the sandwich. Cut the tea. Stir what the fuck? <laughs> Very soon indeed. Oh, right now, in fact. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Hey. The massive high school towers all over the other buildings in this <laughs> bustling urban area. That's very good. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. What? This is Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government funded school of privilege. <laughs> they say that if you can't come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. Hey, the old boys. Years of tradition, <laughs> it sends the cream of the crop to the workforce every year. I really hope they have a toilet. 
It was built to raise hope. <laughs> hope. Hope. In the nation's future, which makes Hope Speak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. Like no, no ordinary student can roll here. Was. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school, filled with the ultimate student. It's kind of fucky, isn't it? Was me. Mm. Hey, sunflowers, are you there? Sunflowers is gone, and sunflowers is gone, and I'm he sorry. will never return. Why? I don't understand the uh, green. Oh, he zoinked! <gasps> he zoinked oh the desk! Oh my god. They're doing the best of clips. Oh my god. Hey, Sunflowers is here. Hell yeah. Where? Hey! Thanks. Where am I? He's zoinking oh, off! Rest. Yeah, he is! Finally! If I ever get emotes, I need to somehow turn zoink and <laughs> zonk into an emote. I don't know what. It's probably just going to be Makoto doing this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's just it's like, zonk. people are going to be like, what the fuck does that even mean? It's like, yeah. You have to go back and watch it. You have to go back. You have to go back and watch a 70 hour let's play. <laughs> Woo! I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body felt heavy. Weak knees, arms already. <gasps> It wouldn't be it? weird for me to sunk off in the middle of some boring class Ooh! or whatever, but... Alright, that's it. Play me Thanks out, for Johnny. watching, guys. He said it! He said the thing! Alright, He sunk to off! Done. Woo! Okay. Actually, I'm gonna save them now. Ah. Uh, he zonked. He sunk off. There we go. Ah, uh, that brings joy. What are they doing? <laughs> Finally. That's what we were working towards. The start of the game. <laughs> what was I doing? That's the payoff. You know, at the end of RRR when he says like this bullet was brought in by you know, it was where it's worth mm. one. That's that. That's the equivalent to this. Him sunken off. Oh god, I'm gonna zonk. He sunk. There wasn't any classroom I've ever been in before. They sunk now. <laughs> no. What the heck is going on? Fire to blaze. David, what god. is going on? It's very confusing. What the heck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Finally, bottom text. This. Is Amonokuma like missile or something on the right? Jeez, oh, I nearly overfilled my drink. I wasn't looking because so I was looking at the Monokuma thing. <laughs> you being silly. Oh, yeah, there is. I can finally feel my mind and body start to come together again. And then, I was awake. Or was this just another dream? A dream inside a hopeless nightmare. No, this isn't a dream. I could tell, because the stench invading my nostrils was too powerful for a dream. What an awful smell. I was in a vast, dark cavern, with the barest hint of light seeping in. Trash was piled high across the area. This must be some kind of suicide, some kind of underground garbage pit. A heck of a situation to find myself in. What the hell was up with that scene? Where it just restart the game. It just went back to the, oh, the zonking off. That's a bit. That's a bit. Oh. It's to kind of fuck with you. That, like, oh, that... the game's over, I guess. So start the new game. Yeah, I thought they were doing like a time traveling thing. Oh, no. Fuck but that me. was just the beginning of my You life. just see Jumpy going, This is not... <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> what do you say, Jumpy? Marty. Her name is AK-47. What? Don't trust her! Idiot. What? Was I going to be stuck in in there till I wasted away and died? No, I can't let that happen. Why is everything green? I mean, he could consume metal. Not after... What my good friend went through to save me. I remembered all too well what Shakira, Shakira! Oh, maybe when you talk like that... That looks pretty badass. Yeah, I like that. It's cute. And he used up the last bit of his strength to do it. Damn, I've never I've never seen Shakira look so determined. Yes, the determined. Oh. So I can't give up now. For myself and for my friend. And with that, my pursuit of survival began. 
first up was to start looking for a way out of here. I'll seek a way out, baby. Seek a way out. What the fuck is this? Is that an airplane? <laughs> what the fudge? How'd something like that wind up in the school's garbage pit? That's a rocket. And a tank. I didn't even know it was a tank. You know I better that? not think too much about what I'm seeing down here. Ooh, oopsie. Can you use that? This is a desk. Oh god, it's covered in zonk. <gasps> it's probably that one that fell down here with me. I like the way the zonk is just drool. Like, it's just... <laughs> yeah, sure. Drool. That's a, yeah, that's it. Here's a zonk. Rattle, rattle. It's locked. If only we knew somebody with a skeleton key. Right away. No matter how many times I pushed or pulled or kicked at it, it didn't budge. Getting out of here isn't going to be that easy. Well, if I'm not getting out of here anytime soon, I decide to look around for some food. There's plenty of food here, but it's all rotten. Hey. But that was pointless too. Next, I search for some water. How can I be sure which liquids I can drink and which ones are a bad idea? <laughs> Again, point less. I feel like I'm blocked on all sides. But that's still not enough of a reason to give up. Because... Because I'm still alive. Exactly. As long as I'm alive, I'm never gonna give you... I'll never give up. After making that proud declaration... The next thing I decided to do was... Sonk off. No. <laughs> Go to sleep. Oh. Our you sleep could, was deep and You could be sunken off in Hina right now. Oh, no. I'm gonna zonk. No, don't say that, Makoto. Please. <laughs> Why the fuck are you here? I have, I have to witness it. What? The witness! <laughs> I, I need to learn. <laughs> That was the only way to preserve what little strength I had left. Not a, after not being able to eat or drink. I can't be sure, but I think at least a full day had had, had a full day had to have passed. And all I did was sleep and sleep. It was like I was waiting for some kind of sign to come falling out of the sky. However. <gasps> What fell from the sky wasn't a sign. Not exactly. Ga crunch! Ga crunch! What the? The strange sound pierced my silent isolation, jarring me awake. As I watched, the pile of garbage jostled and formed an odd shape. Did something fall down over there? Is that something garbage? Something fell from up above. What could it have been? Oh, time to go back to sleep. I'm trying to go back to the slip. Good night, fellas. Did a giant piece of trash just fall down here? I carefully stretched my hand out toward it. Toward whatever it was that tumbled down here with me. Just a second. <gasps> giant piece of trash! Rude! Before uh, she even emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. Hey, she got a cup of noodle on her head. Awful. Oh my god. This, this, is, the, awful. this is the cute she's ever looked. <laughs> Finally, she's bangable. Yeah. All it took was a cup Yoko? of noodle. Indeed. You look like you've been doing better than I expected. What are you doing here? So... It's an obvious. I'm here to help you. I'm glad to hear that, Kyoko. Um, you got a bit of... You, you got a little... You, you, yeah. There's some shit on your face! <laughs> she gave her head a quick, sharp shake to get rid of the trash, then face me again. Hey. First, I have something for you. Oh my god! <gasps> Go ahead and eat us. We can talk once you're finished. <laughs> Bread? Thank you! I snatched the bread and water that she was holding out for me. Have you ever seen Attack on Titan? 
I've seen season one, I think. Yeah, this reminds like me seven I years like ago. The, so. I think it's like the third or fourth or fifth episode. This reminds me of that where a girl brings another girl bread and water because oh. she she had to yeah, do a thing. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Within seconds it was in my mouth. Making its way toward my stomach. Hell yeah. Describe more to me. Ooh, that really hit the spot. Ooh. Now I've got all the energy I need to keep going. Starts beating it was up fucking Kyoko to death. <laughs> no, no. That's if I ration you out, you last me at least six weeks. <laughs> so you still haven't got to give it up then? Of course not. After all, the fact I can keep going is a, the, the fact that I can keep going forward is about all I'm good at. Huh? <laughs> well, that's not such a bad thing to be good at. Listen here, young man. Oh, what the fuck? Where is oh, he? Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm talking. Sorry, over the PA what? system at the school. I can't believe I'm still alive! <laughs> <laughs> I'm banging Hina. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking. Yes. And Yoshi's furiously masturbating in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? But, Kyoko, why'd you come to rescue me? So. To pay a debt. Or, no, to atone. Yeah, I defended you and I, I nearly died, Lamal. But I would have died. Atone? Lamal? You. During the trial, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. Just forget that other so, time. You knew that I knew. Indeed. Even though I knew, I did nothing to help you. Ah, look, I, the past is in the past! I abandoned you. It's like 20 minutes ago. I hold grudges, though. <laughs> Don't say that. You didn't abandon me. Well, you kind of did, but... Some... No, that's exactly what I did. I abandoned you in order to she save She throws under life. the bus like five times in that trial! Ah, sure, listen. <laughs> and then we got thrown literally into a bus, literally, or some shit. You were trying to save me, and I couldn't bring myself to do the same for you. However. Ah, but sure, listen. <laughs> ah, but. Ah, what you, what you gonna do about a creator, you know? <laughs> Lamo. Shit's fucked. Not that I'm trying to make excuses, but... There was a reason that I had to survive, no matter the cost. Why did you have to survive? It's true. Never you mind. Uh, what? I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. The reason I have to survive. In other words. Is so that I can do what I came to this school to do. What? I made up my mind to come to Hope Speak Academy for one very important reason. Ah, fair enough. <clears throat> It's taken right, its uh, yes. <laughs> so you have some reason for coming to Hope Speak. Indeed. That's right. At least I did. Once. Once? I... Until recently, I'd forgotten what it was. You forgot. But that's... I know, memory of my purpose was... No memory, that's impossible. Oh yeah. She has no... She has no... Amnosia? Until recently, recently, apparently. It's said in chapter 3, what did you do to me? <clears throat> Is that chapter 3? Yeah, I think so. Could be chapter 4, but I don't know. Then, Is that true? You lost your memory? Makoto. Do you remember Makoto? Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived at the school? We all zoinked off on desks, right? Oh god, <laughs> they were cleaning it Everyone? up for weeks. Don't tell me it was just first me. Thing. <laughs> That's embarrassing. You're talking about when we zoinked, right? I zoinked. <laughs> and when I woke up, I was trapped here. Zoinked is my favorite word. Or zonked. Or I zoinked too. What? And when I woke up. And it was a strange feeling of zoink within myself. A zoink action, if you will. <laughs> oh my well, god. Separation within myself. A dis discon it's disconnect. Insane. Thinking back on it now. At that point, my memory was gone. At that time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to the school, and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. Ah, oh. so it's a question mark for not for her not 
Oh, and he tells us, yeah, she doesn't even know. Oh. So she forgot. But why did she forget? Nobody else forgot anything. Who knows? Maybe that's the point. Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems yeah. much too convenient. <laughs> Are you saying you think you lost your memory because... Indeed. I don't think. I'm positive it was the work of the mastermind. They stole my memory. Oh now my. we're going on a heist to steal it back. I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> I'm gonna steal the President of the United States. But, but why would they want to do that? There's only one reason I can come up with. Because of my purpose and my ability. Somehow they would interfere with the Mastermind's plans. So the Mastermind just stole them from you? However, And it could also mean... Somehow my memories may be connected to the mystery of this school and the Mastermind. Which is why I have to get them back. Oh my god, we actually are going on a heist. Oh my god, we're gonna take back the memories. We're going on a mind heist. That's why I've been investigating things by myself this whole time. But if what you say is true, why didn't you ask the rest of us to help you? Why that? I did that, and we all worked as one. The Mastermind would have noticed right away. Plus, there's always a chance that the Mastermind is actually one of us. Oh yeah, we, st we still think about that, yeah. Mm. Correct. Well, don't make too big of a deal of it. It's just a possibility. And since it is a possibility, we can't ignore it, right? So we should make a big deal of it then, should we? <laughs> the Mastermind. One of us. Among us. It's, oh my god, there's an imposter. If she believes that, then of course she couldn't trust anyone around her. In which case, it only makes sense that she would look into her missing memory by herself. But wait, I could be the mastermind because I was sent to a punishment, but I didn't actually die because of some convenient, like, deus ex machina. So, well, like, really? I well, could I mean... be the mastermind. It's deus ex machina, I guess, in a way, but it was set up. Oh yeah, it was set up, but like all the ASX machinas are set up. But it was completely out of our control what happened. We think, were saved by an outside force. I don't think force. the ASX machinas are set up. Oh, is, is that the whole point are, because of the ASX just... machina? That's why, yeah, because, that's why like... it's called the ASX machina, because it just happens. So like if I'm, yeah, in, if I'm in a cage... It's something that's out of the character's control. Yeah. That's the definition of one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we, we couldn't control Shakira showing up at that moment. Like, it wasn't planned with Shakira, it just Yeah, yeah, happened. but it was established that she was doing that, though. You know? What do you mean? Like, it was established that she that was... That she would save us? That, no, not that she would save us, but that she was uploaded to the school's network. Yeah. I'm just saying it's possible, you know? It's... Oh, yeah, no, it's definitely possible. Deus Ex Machinas are always possible. It's just, it's very convenient, is what I'm saying. Yeah. So I could be the mastermind. Okay. Okay, I'm the mastermind. You caught me. However. That being said, there was a limit to what I could do by myself, which is why I asked you to help me. But why me? <laughs> because everyone, because among everyone, you were the least likely to be the mastermind. You skinny little bitch, like Jesus, you couldn't what? do anything. My God, would you look at yourself? Your arms are like twigs. You're like four foot. Do you, do you mind? You fucking tiny bastard. Can you stop? Jesus, if I don't look, if I'm not careful where I'm going, I'll probably step on you. You couldn't be the mastermind, are you joking? Jesus. <laughs> that was just intuition, but <laughs> I, I see. Your intuition was right, though. There's no way an ordinary kid like me could be the mastermind. Understand. I should understand everything. I'm so happy that he's voiced by Aaron. The mall. I just, I, I really like Aaron's voice. It's really distinctive. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. What? Oh. Forever and ever. God. It's just like the dream I had before, but. Why did that just happen? Listen. You okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing. I'm just, I'm the mastermind. 
Uh-huh. It is nothing, right? Hey. Even now, I still trust you, you know. <laughs> After telling her. Yeah, what the fuck? It's just... I'm not used to relying on others. Correct. I know. I never asked you for help the right way. So I understand if you're not convinced. Honestly, I was convinced. Oh? I think that's just her personality. I'm going home. I better talk. Oh, fuck's sake. I'm just talking to her. Why did I come out of the conversation? You said you had a reason for doing all that investigating on your own. So, how'd that turn out? Were you able to remember anything? So... I think there's still a lot I don't remember. But at the very bit least. I was finally able to recall my purpose and my ability. Really? You mentioned your ability. I... My ability. What everyone should have known me for. I'm the ultimate detective. Fucking called it. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. You said it in chapter one. That was kind of funny. Yeah, but the fact that you said, oh, you said it. <laughs> I sort of, like, I was sort of thinking as I was going throughout the game, you know, okay, what, what, what's she good at? What's she good at? What's she good at? And obviously it was the detective shit. Yeah. I even called her the ultimate Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She could have also been the ultimate mortician. <laughs> she... The ultimate... Detective? Correct. The reason I came to Ho Speak Academy. There was someone I had to find here in school. You had to find someone? Who? So. Well, so. It was the headmaster of Ho Speak Academy. The headmaster? Why did you want to find the headmaster? Because he's my father. What? <laughs> See, this is, like, after this, like, I, I don't really remember anything. <laughs> oh, my God. Legit don't so remember. So she... Wait, what? What? So the person your handling Monokuma? Your dad's a bear? <laughs> You're just... Papa? Papa? What? <laughs> In other words... I have separated from him as a child. As it turns out, she became the headmaster of Hope Speak. Kyoko's dad. Is Hope's Peak's headmaster? Then that explains... When Alter Eager told us he thought the headmaster was involved. Oh god, is there hints? I... My oh fine my. boy. Huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter... No matter, what... no matter the cause. So, um... Hey, Gyo, what what's going on? Dramatic setup. What? <laughs> I... Runs off. My memory hadn't come back at that point. But when he said that, I felt... Strang. Stranger? It makes perfect sense now, of course. Since my whole purpose and for coming here was to find him. That makes sense. However... But listen, Makoto. What? I've told you too much. I'm gonna have to kill you. Ch -ch -ch. I want to make this me. perfectly clear. <laughs> So, there's no misunderstanding. I said the headmaster wasn't the mastermind, but I didn't say that to protect him. I only said what I felt based on what I'd seen when I snuck into the headmaster's room. Then, what did you see in there? So... The room had been ransacked, the shelves were a mess, and the desk drawers dumped on the floor. Piss and the shit everywhere. Is that uh, someone who didn't know where anything was had been in there? Oh. You mean the mastermind, right? It's true. That was my assumption, yes. And to confirm my suspicion, I decided to investigate the second floor of the dorms using the key I found. But why there? Because I also found this in the headmaster's room. This is some kind of suicide guy, some kind of map. Indeed. It's a layout of the entirety of Hope's Peak. Oh my god! You see? It's a I map. Found... Oh my god. I found it. I hid Master Dream. I'm it. here in profile. And that key. The 
The map showed that the second floor was home to a number of rooms meant to, for faculty use. What? Some of the staff must have had to stay overnight from time to time. And I figured the headmaster would have some kind of private room there. I assumed that if that were true, the room would likely hold more clues. So I went to check. Correct. And that's when I finally remembered. I remembered that my purpose was to find the owner of that room. So you went there to see if the headmaster really did have a private room there? However, once I got there, I noticed that the second floor of the dorms didn't have any cameras or monitors. Who said that? Disembodied so. voice. <laughs> What's up? Where are you? You keep talking, Bukake. I am so. you. Ah! <laughs> so what's it like? That part of school, I mean. It's hard to describe. All I can say is... Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Oh, Worcestershire sauce. Hey, what was that in? Recently. It was in a meme. It's like three of the hardest things to say. No, but I'm like... Sorry. We, were play help. we were playing a game. And a character... Oh fuck, was it in this game? I don't think it was. I, was it in AI or something? Or it was like... Oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, oh no, it's Sucker for Love! Oh, no? Yeah. You were, you were like the... When, before uh, Esther, the god, revealed herself as Esther, mm. you tricked her oh, into saying... Oh, yeah, You yeah, tricked yeah. her into saying Worcester sauce. And she's like, oh, so, yeah, Worcester sauce? Now, like, wait a second. That means you're... If you can say that, you, that means you're a god. And she's like, god <laughs> damn it, how did you know? <laughs> You got me. <laughs> that's actually hilarious. Like that that's how you prove that someone's a god, like a, a demon. <laughs> you get they can say Worcester sauce really easily. <laughs> it's so stupid, but I love it. The moment I saw, I realized. Whatever's going on in this school is more horrific than we ever had imagined. What do you mean? I can't explain so... it. You need to see it for yourself. I'm sure you'll get the chance soon enough. Sunflowers, are you zonking off right now? I'm zonking off. Well now, this is kind of embarrassing. Hello? Oh! I'm writing something off comes after. <laughs> what are you writing? You're Hello? Burning. I'm at the point. You zonk too hard! I'm gonna zonk. <laughs> He's not gonna zonk. I'm oh. gonna zonk. <laughs> <laughs> Do not. Do not zonk. I'm gonna zonk. I'm gonna zonk. <laughs> Character backstory for D and D. Ooh, I love D and D. I'm writing something Wait, you... off. Comes after. Uh -huh. Wait, are you sh are you streaming? I can't see you. What me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't see you anymore. No, you can. Can you unshare and reshare it? No, you can see it. Uh... You're looking right at it. <laughs> no. No, you can see it. I see you're looking right at it. There we go. Oh, I can't explain it. You need to see it for yourself. I'm sure you'll get your chance soon enough. It sounds like it must be important. And really ominous. What class are you, Sunflowers? We, uh, I backed the... I think I told you this, so I backed the Kickstarter thing like a year and a half ago for like an Avatar D&D thing. Oh yeah? And like Avatar last year, I bet. Yeah, yeah, and it's finally... They finally have it all printed and it's going to be sh getting shipped out next month. Hey, sweet! So I'm the Dungeon Master, unfortunately, so I don't get to make an Avatar character, but Noli and our friends, you know, they all get to make Avatar characters. And you know what's funny? They can choose what any you know character they want. They can be benders and stuff, and then go on quests. Mm. No, I bet you none of them will pick benders. 
<laughs> Noli, no, <laughs> Noli, your bender. Noli just wants to throw like rocks at people or something. I think you already told me. Amazing. And I was like, come on, Noli, you can be like an earthbender or something. You can throw rocks that way. <laughs> He's like, oh, no. he literally means pick yeah, up yeah, rocks. Yeah, yeah, he just wants to throw rocks at people. And I was like, god damn. That does sound like no. So I'm just going to be the dungeon master, and I'm just going to have, like, no benders, and everyone, they're going to be fighting. I don't even know how that works. It's I, just I, a bunch of normal people. It's so hard to be a dungeon master, because it's like, ah, I, I, I got the rule book already as a PDF, and I was like, Jesus Christ. Mm. This is like a thesis. I'd want to be the cabbages guy. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, you could. That'd be fun. My cabbages. Barbarian, sick. However... I backed the... You know who Chris Hansen is? Sit there, sit right down. Yeah, why don't you have a seat? Why don't you have a seat over there? Yeah. He did the catch a predator, you know, to catch like... Yeah, 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 yeah. And Child molesters and all that. Yeah. He, when he was coming back in 2015, he did a Kickstarter or... The, I don't know. Yeah, it was Kickstarter. Uh, to fund like his next thing. And I funded it. And... The... Yeah, he was one of those projects that like took fucking like an extra two years to ever deliver anything. Oh, Lamo. But he delivered, right? He delivered eventually. I don't even know if I got my rewards. Mm -hmm. I forget what I actually bought because it's, well, I mean, at this point, it's been, what, seven years, almost eight years? Oh, wow. Uh, so, but the videos are online now, so he did do the investigations. Kickstarter. Like, I can't remember if I got, like, a mug or anything, but I, it, that never got delivered if I did. I back, I kickstarted, like, this avatar thing, obviously, so I get, I get this really cool case of avatar and stuff. Like, it looks really cool, but I've also kickstarted a game. And I'm in the credits mm -hmm. of the game. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. Dude, what the fuck was that called? That's... Ukulele. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did that there. Are you in the credits today? Maybe. Maybe. I know. By I, know. I actually never finished the game. I got to the last area and then I just stopped playing it. I, I just sort of lost interest. Pathfinder. Pathfinder. Rat of the Righteousness. I'm in the credits of that game. Come on. Oh, never I'm, right, I'm right beside one of my favorite YouTubers as well, which is insane. That's deadly. Mandalore Gaming. I'm right beside him because my name is Mandrew. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, oh man, I'm right beside like my favorite YouTuber. That's so hilarious. That actually. worked out well. Yeah. Barbarian. Nice. Yeah, you can pick I'd up... be the cabbages guy. Yeah. Barbarians can just like pick up people and troll them like lunatics. I played a uh, Dungeons Dragons thing once to add a Comic Con that I went to, and everyone got really pissed off. And we were playing for like three hours. And <laughs> it ended up like all of us were in like an underground mine thing, and there was like goblins, and we were all sneaking around the mine. And I was just so sick of it. So at some point, somebody was like, "Oh, there's like there's gems in the walls of the mine." So I said, "Yeah, I start to mine." Like I, I take out my pickaxe mine. and I start mine, and then it's like, "Yeah, the goblin horde has descended on oh, you." <laughs> I remember uh, when we were playing D&D, &D, I was the dungeon master, they all got to uh, the town in, uh, I can't remember what it's called, in Dungeons and Dragons anymore, but like, they got to the town and Master, my friend, wanted to go to meet the mayor. And the mayor, he got really annoyed at the mayor and he was just like, I'm just gonna punch the mayor out. And I was like, alright, his two bodyguards show up, uh, just before you go to punch him and you get into a fight with him. And then he just got really lucky and bet the shit out of the bodyguards, bet the shit out of the mayor, and then he became the mayor. And then I was just Wait, like, what? He became the mayor. Yeah, cause, I don't know. He just overthrown the government real quick. And I was like, the as, <laughs> as the DM, what? I was just like, I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm kind of confused. <laughs> like, really? you, no. you just literally just became the mayor because you just got pissed. <laughs> it was really funny, though. Fair enough. Yeah, sorry. You can continue. Continue. Ah, yes. The game. Dungeons Dragons fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Enjoy your... Uh, be a good barbarian. I'm proud of you. Yeah. No, of course. Once I got to the second floor, no cameras and monitors. So, what's it like, that part of the school, I mean? Only he's gonna be a fucking grillish bender. He just, he just <laughs> bend, like, he can just control. So if you eat yeah. grillish, yeah, he, he can control your body. Yeah, he can just control Donner oh kebabs and stuff. It's hard to describe. All I can say Bye. is, the moment I saw it, I realized... Whatever's going on at the school is more horrific than we ever imagined. What do you mean? So... I can't explain it. You need to see it for yourself. I'm sure you'll get your chance soon enough. Sounds like it must be important. It's really ominous. What the fuck is... Stop taking Hello? me out of this. Which is why I have 
no idea what was going on in the rest of the building. It has to do with what Mukuro Ikosaba does not. Yeah. Just to be perfectly clear, I didn't kill her. It wasn't me. It was you. And I know it wasn't you either. Hmm. I'm trying to think who that character even is. Who? That's 16 student. It's M yeah, I know, but like in relation to the story, like is it were they just like? I suppose it'll be revealed. Yeah, in like time. how are they hidden the whole time? I can't even remember. It was they were hiding in Hifumi's like flabs. <laughs> Lamo. I know you're right. Uh, I know you're right. But that just means everyone but you and me had an alibi. So then, who did kill her? Anyway. What I can say for sure is that the mastermind is directly involved. To begin with, the point of the class trial of Makuro Ikasaba was to get me killed. Get you killed? Indeed. I stole that key and disappeared. And in retaliation, they wanted to draw me out and eliminate me. Correct. That was the point of the class trial. She got too close. It was? The mastermind knew. They couldn't interfere directly. The only characters that, like, especially women, or even men, have bangs like this. And yeah. I always imagine what her forehead looks like. It's like... I've never heard an Irish person say bangs. Really? <laughs> never? Yeah, no. Oh, well. Everyone calls them fringe. Oh, I guess. I, I see it, yeah. I, I, I don't see a fringe. I don't, yeah. I don't know. What do you mean? They're the same thing. Yeah, but I've, I've never referred to... Like, when I see bangs, I don't see it, like... I, I see bangs as something that completely covers your forehead, whereas usually a fringe, I don't see it as... I my oh, really? I, yeah, I guess my definition of fringe is wrong, then. Oh, I've never heard that, like, differentiation. But I, I don't know if it's true. But, like, I, I've always imagined just a fringe is just a bit that hangs off your head a little bit, you know, drooping down. Mm. Whereas bangs completely cover your forehead. Oh. But I could be I could be wrong. You mean... Because of the school regulation. Alright, you mean because of school regulation? That's right. Exactly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. In other words, a mastermind is adamant about following the rules, and with that rule in place, they couldn't step in. Since they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use the class trial to do it. The mastermind couldn't step in because of the rules. That makes it sound like the mastermind themselves is somehow bound by the school regulations. Hey. That that kind of There's points one... to like that they are a participant then. Mm. <coughs> if they have to follow the like rules. A robot, they have to follow rules. Yeah. They're programmed. There's one other thing I'd like to point out about the murder of Makuro Ikasaba. What's that? There's a point where Makiro may not have become the victim. It could have been you, Makoto. What? I could have been the victim? But I ain't dead. You know what I'm talking about, right? Do you mean... During the night? I... I can hear them, you know. The voices. They never stop. I hear voices in my head. head. They talk to me. Do you? Randy Orton, not the hell. The footsteps of the God of Death. Dead. I can hear the God of Death as he moves. What? Listen. I think she's a bit. It's not weird. Okay? Going crazy. Listen, he's my own Shinogami. That ability naturally draws me into cases just like this. Anyway. Which is exactly what happened with you. It was in the dorms when I had a sudden sense of dread and looked down the stairwell. And I saw a white shadow cross the corridor. I gave chase right away. As I followed it, I saw the shadow go into your room. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ran into your room, but naked, and saw what was happening. And they're wearing the coat, like, correctly, look. Yeah. 
I interviewed immediately, of course. However, that wasn't the end of things, of course. I stopped them, but that led to Ooh. whoever the mass assailant was, they ended up dead. Correct. And their murder was disguised, and the dojo key wound up in my room. It all has to be the work of the mastermind in an attempt to use the glass trial to eliminate me. So, all this would mean that whoever killed Makura is also the mastermind, right? Indeed. I don't have conclusive evidence. But that's what I think. But that's really bad if, th if true. It means the mastermind could kill whoever they want if they feel like it. Wait. But doesn't that create another contradiction? The Mastermind wanted to use the class trial to try and kill you because they couldn't interfere, right? Correct. You're right. That is a contradiction. It is, yeah. Ah, uh, sure you know yourself. And it's just Makuro. And it isn't just Makuro. They needed the class trial to kill me, but seem ready to kill you in your room. Everything they did is a contradiction. So, what does it all mean? In other words... It means the Mastermind is the one who's been cornered. Huh? Makoto. Just a little more. A little more and I should be able to figure out the Mastermind's identity. The identity of... Ooh, here it is! The other ultimate despair. New world. The other ultimate despair. Yeah, That's best right. song in the game. There's no doubt that Makuro was the ultimate despair. That she's dead. But I don't think the ultimate despair is just one person. Who is the mastermind? It's not. Indeed. If you think about it. The ultimate despair seems to be impl it seems to implicate whoever caused that event. You're talking about That's right. what happened a year ago. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy. Whoever's responsible for that. They're the ultimate despair. That despicable group whose only purpose and motivation comes from the despair. Then they're... Indeed. Make no mistake. They're the root of all evil that has forced us to go through with this. That is the ultimate despair. And that is our real enemy. <gasps> Chapter 5. Oh god, I'm zonking! He's zonking all over the screen! The end of chapter oh, 5, god. everyone! Woo! No one died. Except for that Except person. Except for that person. <laughs> to be continued. Nice. Hey, we got the rocket! Finally, rocket. Alright, you wanna keep going, or...?